to stay afloat, which means layoffs and shutdowns. The retailer plans to close 150 of its stores and just announced 50 of them, spreading across the country from Arizona to Washington State. The company is trying to rescue itself and keep from having to go file for bankruptcy. Cutting jobs and closing stores along with more than $500 million in financing will do the trick because the business model itself is struggling against competition. And in California, Governor Gavin Newsom signed sweeping new climate legislation into law late last week. The $54 billion package aims for carbon neutrality by 2045. Newsom said California has already taken big steps to reduce its footprint compared to other states. We are leapfrogging and moving ahead. The deniers and the doubters, all that anger, these guys are spewing every single night. <laughs> Just think about the state of Texas. The first five months of this year, Talk about spewing. 22.9 million tons of coal they spewed in the first five months of this year compared to California, 18,000 tons. 22.9 million tons. Now, Newsom says this climate action would create 4 million jobs. One of its main priorities is electrifying vehicles. And $10 billion of the budget is focused on incentives to switch to battery-powered cars. Newsom estimates these measures could save California about $23 billion in air pollution mitigation. And on to our entertainment news this morning. Post Malone is on the mend after falling and bruising his rib during a concert. The incident happened about an hour into his show in St. Louis Saturday. You can see how he fell through the opening on the stage. Malone was down for about 10 minutes, but got up and finished the performance. He was taken to a hospital after the concert for x-rays, which revealed that his ribs were not broken. On social media, Malone thanked his fans and said he was ready to continue the tour. And music executive known as Chaka Zulu, the longtime manager of rapper Ludacris, is accused of murder. Prosecutors in Georgia say Ahmed Obafemi, Zulu's legal name, is responsible for a shooting at an Atlanta restaurant last June that left one person dead. Zulu's legal counsel claims the exec only fired his weapon in self-defense and nearly died in the incident after being shot himself. Zulu was released after posting a $200,000 bond, and Zulu has been managing Ludacris since the 1990s, and the two were co-founders of Disturbing the Peace Records. And a Missouri jury has found 41-year-old Tim Norman guilty in a murder-for-hire plot. He's the son of reality TV star Robbie Montgomery. She rose to fame as the show Welcome to Sweetie Pies followed her restaurant business. Norman was also featured on the show. Jurors determined he fraudulently obtained $450,000 of life insurance policy on his nephew, Andre Montgomery, without his knowledge. Then he hired two people to shoot him to death and claim the insurance money. He is scheduled to be sentenced on December 15th, and Norman's attorney said 